In this Unity tutorial, we will create a rain effect for a 3D game using the particle system. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. Rain effect is made out of two particle systems. One is the raindrops and the second one are the ripples that appear on the ground. In addition to that, we are going to parent those particles to the player. So now we can create an illusion that it is raining on the entire map instead of only near the player. So first, to create our raindrop particles, we will need to go to the hierarchy, select this plus icon, select effects and select particle system and it should generate you the generic particle system in your scene. I will right click on this particle system, rename this and I will call it rain particle system. Okay, if you have this selected, in the inspector you should see all the modules that can tweak the behavior of our particles. First of all, if you don't see all the modules, you need to click on this plus icon and show all the modules or you can un uncheck it so that you only see the modules that you need and you can add more using this plus icon. We need to select this first module, the rain particle system, and it has the general options for our system. First of all, we need to select the start speed and we want to set it to be zero. And now our particles will stop floating up into the sky. And we need to check the gravity modifier, we need to set it to be 1, and now our particles should start dropping down. I will select my transform component and I will set the Y value to about 15, so that my particles are falling from the sky downwards towards the ground. Now it looks a bit like rain, but we need to expand the area where our particles are being spawned. So we need to Click again on this general module to hide it and we are going to expand the shape module. And here we can uh, set the shape of our particles of how they are going to be spawned. So I will select the shape and I will change it to be circle. And I will set the radius. It is all up to you of how far you want those particles to be spawned. I will set it to maybe something like 20 or even 30. So now those particles are spawned over the large area. So we need to increase the number of those particles. So for that, we are going to hide the shape and expand the emission. And what we want to change is the rate over time. Again, it all depends on what you need. I will set it to be about 200 and this will be heavier rain. We can modify it and set it to be 100, for example. And now this is a, a bit lighter rain. So it all depends on what you want to create. The effect doesn't look very much like rain, it is more looking like snow. So we need to modify that. So first of all, we need to go to our project section to our assets and we are going to create a new material. So right click here, create, and we are going to create a new material. And let's call it rain material. Now I'm using universal render pipeline, so I'll select at the top in the inspector for this material, the shader, universal render pipeline, and I will want to find particles and I will want to choose the unlit particles because I don't want my particles to be affected by light. And I want to set the surface type to be transparent since I may want to make those particles or this, those raindrops a bit transparent to modify how they look in my game. So I'll go back to my rain particle system. I will hide the emission and at the bottom you can find the render parameters. So here we want to assign the material, so click the circle selector, let's type rain, and we can find our uh, particle material. So this is our unlit particle material, and now we can see this appearing in our scene, but it is much too big. Before we modify the size, let's first in the render, select the render mode, and we are going to select stretched billboard. So this will uh, look a bit more like rain drops, and I will set the speed scale, to be 0 0.06 and now to decrease the overall size of our particles we will hide the render module and we will go to the top to the main module the general settings for our particles and here what we can do is set the start size parameter to be 0 0.05 and finally we have those raindrops or particles that looks like raindrops now generally I will destroy those particles when they collide with the ground but if you want to tweak it and you expect that those particles might get through the ground and fall down uh, for a bit longer for the performance reasons you may want to tweak the duration for example set it to 2 but it will depend on what you need and also start life, uh, lifetime maybe set to 
to two. So now those particles will not go far beyond the level of the ground. Okay, so now the next step is to create those ripple particles and tie them together to the rain particle system. But before that, if you want to tweak the look of your raindrops, you can select the color, the start color of the particles. And if we decrease the alpha to something like 60, or 40 you can see that those particles are now a bit transparent and it look more like rain and it is less intrusive into the game uh, while if we set the alpha to be full opaque you can see that those particles are more visible i will set it to be something like 120 or something like that and now it looks pretty good if you are finding this tutorial helpful so far please leave a like subscribe to the channel it would help me a lot Okay, so now let's take care of creating those ripples. So I'm going to drag my rain particle system uh, to the assets to make it into a prefab and I will delete it for now. So now we need to create another particle system that will be uh, representing our ripples. Now in the description of this video, you will be able to download this ripple texture. So this is just a circular shape and we are going to use it to create those ripple, this ripple effect. So make sure that you download it and when you import it into Unity, so just drag it into Unity, make sure that you select alpha is transparency because otherwise it will be all black. So if you select this, apply it, you will have this transparent background. And that is it. Now we are ready to create our new particle system. So let's again go to the hierarchy, select this plus icon, select effect, particle system, and now we are going to create this ripple particle system. So let's call it that, ripples particle system. Okay. Let's first go to the assets folder, let's select our rain material and let's control D to duplicate it and we are going to rename it to be ripple material. All we need to do here is in the inspector near the uh, surface inputs there is this base map and if you select the circle selector you will be able to select our ripple texture and now we are going to be able to use it for our particle system. So let's select it again, Ripple's uh, particle system, expand the render, we can assign our material, so the material select this circle selector, let's type Ripple a material, and we are going to have those circles being spawned in our scene. Let's select the render mode and let's set it to be horizontal billboard, and now it should be a proper way up. Okay, let's close the render a module and let's expand the general settings because we need to start here. For now let's select the duration and let's set it to be something like 0.5 and we are going to select the start lifetime to be 0.3. So now those ripples will only appear for a short while so this will look more like ripples from the rain. We will also set the start speed to be zero because we want those to be only visible on the surface where they hit or the uh, rain uh, particles hit the ground. Only there we are going to create those ripples. So in the scene view, you should see something like this, those circles appearing randomly. If you can see it, just drag it and it should be above your ground plane or whatever you use for your ground. First of all, we only want to see one ripple per each raindrop. So we are going to go back to our inspector and we are going to select the emission module. Let's set the rate over time to be zero and we are going to use this burst uh, section. Let's click this plus icon and we are going to be able to spawn one particle. So let's set the count to be one and this will be the one particle that we spawn. Now to spawn it in the center, so wherever the raindrop has hit the ground, we need to select the shape module and select the shape to again be a circle and we are going to decrease the radius to be 0.01 so this ripple only spawns in the center of the circle okay great but now we have the circle appearing in our scene so our ripple should grow from the center where the raindrop hits and become this big so we want to select the particle system modules and we want to select the size over lifetime module let's check it and expand it and now you should basically see that this ripple grows from the center uh, to reach the end uh, size. And you can select this uh, size, you can drag this preview to see this, and you can set the size to be something like two. If you want those ripples bigger, I will leave it at one so that they are reasonable size. Okay, 
Now, I would like those ripples to also uh, fade out when they grow. So I will select the particle system module called color over lifetime. I'm going to check it and let's select this. And we are going to be able to click on this color. A new window should appear. And basically this is a gradient. So if we select the top right marker, we can decrease the alpha and now those ripples will disappear when they start growing. Now to make this effect of the ripple more visible, I will drag the marker from the top left corner a bit to the center so those uh, ripples are more visible and they fade only at the end of their lifetime. Okay, so now we should see in the preview this kind of ripple appearing. Now we can improve the look of those particles using custom shaders. You can check out the Unity Shader Bible from JetLE to learn more about how to improve the look of your effects. The link will be in the description. Okay, with this ripple effect done, let's drag back our rain particle system from our assets folder to add those rain uh, drops back. And we need to select uh, in the inspector the collider module. So let's check it. And here we want to select the tab to be world. And now, if your ground has a collider on it, you should see those particles bouncing up and down. Now, we want to destroy those particles when they hit our ground collider. So ensure that your ground has some sort of a collider on it and select back the rain particle system. And in the collision uh, module, select the lifetime loss to be and set it to be one. Basically, this tells our particle system that the particles lose 100% of their lifetime and they will be basically destroyed. Now, to visualize the colliders, you can select in the collision module at the bottom, visualize bounds. Those bounds should be at the bottom of each particle. Okay, with this done, now the main idea here is that we want to spawn our ripples when our raindrops collide with something. So we want to drag in the hierarchy the ripple particle system as the child object of our rain particle system. And let's select back our rain particle system because now we need to select another module here and this will be our sub emitter. So let's check it and let's expand it. And now in the drop down here, we can select the collision as the trigger. And we are going to drag the child object ripples particle system as the particle system field. We're going to fill it in. And now if everything went fine, you should see those ripples appearing when the raindrops hit the ground. So if we press play now, I can see that those ripples are appearing whenever I am walking, but there is one issue with the system. If we assign this as a child object of our player to have only this particle system spawning the rain. Now, if we press play, okay, if I start moving, the drops, the raindrops and the ripples will move together with the player. And that's not what we want. And to prevent this effect, we need to select our rain particles, select the main module. And here we want to select the simulation space. And here in the drop down, we want to select the world space. So now our particles will be simulated and we'll stay in the world space instead of following the player. We need to do the same for the ripple particles. Let's select the main module. Let's select simulation space and let's select the world space. Now, if I press play, you will see that I can start moving and those ripples and uh, raindrops will keep on falling while they will also keep on spawning near the player so that we can simulate that the, on the whole map there is a uh, rain but the only thing we have is our particle system attached to the player that is following us around. Great, so now we have created this illusion of rain inside our Unity game. If you want to learn more about Unity, I have created video courses that go in depth into how to make games and how to improve your coding skills. The link will be in the description. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.